Hello everybody, welcome to the final game of week two of Group A in the Super League. We have Hiru with his Dwarves here up against Andy Devo with his Necro. And this is a pretty rough match for the Dwarves. Hiru already got beaten by me in the first week where I also diced him as well as it being a rough matchup. He only has five guard and the Necros have four. So he's like he's literally only got one guard more but he's down two strength four players. And of course, there's two claws. There's a lot more movement, so uh, this is pretty tricky. Interesting, Devo once again leaving the rookie ghoul on the bench on defense. So um, yeah, I think Hiru won the toss. Choose to receive. Let's see if he can get some some banging outs going on. Set up a bit wider to cover against the Blitz. The two Troll Slayers I don't really like, to be honest. Um, oh, could they, could they have the normal colours on? No. <laughs> um, but, you know, actually against me they were kind of annoying, right? They were kind of annoying because you could use them to hit the uh, Flesh Golems pretty well with the Flesh Golems having guard. Um, you know, a not block. It was pretty nice to actually hit the flesh golems. So I guess he'll have learned that against me if he didn't already know it. So that's like a that's a little bit of a help, I guess, for him in this game. Uh, here we go, Andy using the uh, flesh golem to blitz with the. Wolf, negate the horrendous downside of Frenzy. And make it 3D, no reason not to. Well, apart from the position, of course. But I think this should be a big push now from the... Uh, from the Dwarves. Pretty unlucky. Get some down there. So you can probably swing both of these in up here. Yep. I like this. And then try and get. I would have probably gone a little bit further away. Try and get like this guy away as well. Yeah, I would have moved him further away. I was trying to get further, further away. I guess like kind of pinning these guys is okay, but um, because this is like a big commitment from Devo, right? So if if you make it like this guy can only move one square, so if this guy had come across further, then it's more like two versus like you know six or whatever. It's better than three versus six. So you use the fleshy for the first one, and then chain off for the second. <laughs> Another rear V break, classic. That's a lovely square, isn't it? it gives him the hit on him, and then the claw hit. Right, I'll call it first, yeah. Right, doesn't mean I know which way you go. Whoa. Whoa. Hello, Elliot. Hello. How are you, sir? Good, good, good. You? Brilliant, thanks. Yeah, I've been dreaming about eating nuts. Oh. <laughs> who, who wouldn't, who hasn't? Who let, let, let who, those who never dreamed about eating nuts cast the first <laughs> walnut stone? Yep. <laughs> let those who haven't dreamed about eating nuts eat the first cashew. <laughs> right, right. Uh, well. Oop. So this is a bit. Um, already it's just hard, right? Like the strength falls and the mm -hmm. sidesteps, and it's just. He's barely got a guard advantage. I wonder if he dodged this guard beard off. Yeah, kind of has to. Yeah, oh, makes it. 
Problem is, he just gets tagged off instantly. Yeah, maybe he should have come in. He does. Yeah, maybe he should have come in. To uh, here. I was going to say, we've got the beard golem tag, which is nice. Right? But it's actually a fucking... Um, Where's that motherfucker? A troll slayer. There's actually a troll slayer down there as well. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like a, feels like a rough matchup for the dwarves to me. I don't know what the stats say or anything, but um, certainly I, I uh, did not think it was. You know, I, th I thought when I played Hero before I started playing Hero, I thought it was I thought it was in my favour, and then obviously you win? I diced I diced him to death. Oh. So <laughs> I'm not sure how much it was in my favour, yeah. but um, the dicing made it. Complete non game. But it just seems rough, right? Like, especially with his build, he's only got five guards, so he's only got one more guard yeah. than the Necro, and the Necro got so much more speed and claw and frenzy and stand firm mm. and sidestep. It's yeah. pretty strong. I guess the dwarves do have tackle for the ghouls, but there's only, there's only one ghoul anyway on defense here. It's not it's not going too bad for him. I guess he's got two guards isolated, which sucks. Um, but then Andy's also got a guard isolated. And then here we come with the core hits. Ooh. Roto. This is looking dangerous <laughs> for the dwarves. It's pretty bad when they're like favourite to outbash you and then they also have two movement yeah. eight guys and a movement seven guy <laughs> that you've got to try and yeah. defend the ball against. <laughs> Paul Vault aficionado. <laughs> oh, Christopher. Um. He's basically won the Olympics, hasn't he, that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Other people may have won gold medals and events, <laughs> but he's just won the whole Olympics. <laughs> I think I would have probably put him in for the extra assist. Like, this is a better square, isn't it? Or even, like, one to the left. But I feel like putting him one right to get the hit is probably better. Because you're just trying to, like, desperately not get score on at this point, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. More surf. Dave or distraught. We well, could go for the pick up with the Wraith here, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> In the absence of a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he actually could, right? Just to just to just to scatter it. They they can't they can't just like they're not prohibited from moving under the square, are they? They just automatically no. fail the pick up. So he, he literally yeah. could have gone for the pick up with the Wraith there. Puts his sidestepping guard in a very strong position and. Uh, you know, may set up the pickup for the subsequent turn. Or, or just like, you know, scattered to the wolf or the ghoul who could have caught it. So I actually wouldn't have hated the, the Wraith pickup. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But then you have the disadvantage that all the commentators look at what you've done and go, wow, <laughs> <laughs> he tried to pick the ball up with a knife. <laughs> yes. That is reason enough not to do it, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Also, like the fact that you know the, the the dwarf would have most of his team to react, and you wouldn't. Yeah. Big uh, block here with a flashy. Oh, oh he got some of the blocks to do first. Yeah, he gets scattered. Ooh. Now the wolf's gonna be free, isn't he? Oh, that's good. Wait, ball and chain. Wait, just the ball and chain. The others still do right. Just the ball and chain. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh. So three D. Not I don't think I've ever taken Creek. Haven't you? He's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah. Movement five or whatever is is some is he movement five? Movement five ball and chain. Don't like ball and chains. Wow. Wow. What Just to pull it dead. GG. Yeah, fair. That happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> My dwarf, even though he had block. I think he got one deed and just piled cars. Oh, yeah, the free bribe. Yeah, the free bribe is good, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no hands, you'd love it. And, uh, <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yep, and that's that's it. That's drive done, isn't it? Like this is the stupid thing about poor old uh, poor yeah. old dwarves. They just don't have the reactivity. Dwarves just a bit shit. Yeah, they are, aren't they? At the end of the day, uh, mm. it, this is such a hard format for them because yeah, okay, they've got they've got mass tackle against all the Skaven and Wood Elves and Dark Elves, but against like the you know also they can just lose those games anyway, right? Like I did in the uh, play-ins. Uh, versus Pro Elves, like you can just lose those games that like seem nailed on for you, um, because they can just roll twos and threes and fours without having to use rerolls, and you might not kill everybody. And then versus the teams like Necro, Necro just fucking dick on you basically, and so do dwarves, uh, orcs, don't they? And like lizards. Yeah. We like, got the three, the three, probably the three major bash teams. <laughs> it, just a rotten matchup for dwarves. I think there was a bit of a bit of a dance there. Didn't see it was off. It was off screen. We're a bit of a dance there for Andy. Good to see. Mm, <laughs> I think draws could be missed here. I think generally people don't like them, right? <laughs> I think that's the main thing. The weird thing is, as well, of course, that the, the, the difference between Blood Bowl three and Tabletop is main difference. Obviously, there's a few differences. The main difference is Amazon's being an absolute fucking terror, isn't it? And then the fact that Dwarf has some tackle against them. But even then, the Amazons have defensive, don't they? So, like... Mm. And yeah. strength fours. Yeah, so they're not even that much of a counter to the Amazons anyway, so... No. Yeah, I think I think mistiered and just not very good. And especially for, like, NAF, where you want to win games, right? Like, that also devalues Dwarves on tabletop because you want to win games. And it has been noticed that certain uh, dwarf mains have reduced their dwarf activities yes. with the onset of the new rule sets and uh, <laughs> maybe in fact we'll never play dwarf sometimes <laughs> <laughs> yep that is very true yep uh, of course uh, purple chest is now like you know number what I also not any names <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to <laughs> this was a weird like set of blocks with this whole like wolf Fending itself into the dwarf situation. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, chaffs are terribly mistiered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I didn't think they should have ever been tier one, even with the stars. But you know, people, people told me that they, that oh they God, were right and I was wrong. But um, you know, who knows? <laughs> I guess it's kind of nice jamming in a bit on the turn where the balls on the sideline, like yeah. It means that if you do one in on the pickup, at least like not all the dwarves can run around. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty, it's pretty strong, isn't it? 
I know gutter runners are pretty good, but I, the rest of the team just didn't support them as well as Underworld would. <laughs> like, Underworld can also get a gutter runner. Skaven can get four of them. I just, it, to me, the Chorfs was always all completely overblown. But there you go. Oh, uphills into pals. Oh! <laughs> Outrageous. I mean, now it's just horrible. Like, now it's horrible for Hero, isn't it? Just instantly horrible, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't really take issue with that with that turn from Andy. It did it did leave him, his wolf, in a bit of a spot. But, yeah, plugging in the fleshy was pretty nice. Of course, the classic minnow. Well, this is a bit, this is a bit spicy, isn't it? Very spicy here from Andy. Mm. This is very spicy. Mmm. Oh, he's, he's fucking clawing the dwarf. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I thought it was a GF, oh, no. But this is still like... Oh, yeah. Sixes for a surf. Oh, yeah. And maybe just do right, because he fucked. Oh, you 100% do, yeah. Yeah. 100 million percent. To the point where Andy probably should have double GFI'd, right? Well, we'll... Yeah. Because this is the absolute only chance your opponent has. I probably just should not have done this at all, right? Like, yeah, probably just should. Yeah. This is probably a bad formation because. There, it is, there is a chance for Hiru right now. Oh, okay, that's weird. So he's, that means he's not going for it, right? I guess. In fact, he re rolled that. Must have something in mind, I guess, yeah. Mm. Don't know what. No, this seems this is not it. He, I mean, oh. he had to he had to just six plus uphill, didn't he? How how is this gold not just scoring? Yeah. Yeah, and then <laughs> okay, you the two, uh, okay, no, it's what is it? Okay, the runner, okay, runner. Oh yeah, okay, no, that's okay. But he can just like move around, can't he? As well. Oh tell both runners, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> hand up to the wolf. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't think you would do right because it's like you don't want to take that risk. You're in that good of a position, I think. Yeah. But I mean, this isn't that good for Andy, right? Like, yeah. you know, he's got two guys. Yeah. Screwed. He's got yeah. these. This is a good trade for Andy, obviously. But this guy being stunned means he can get back and stuff. Like, it's not. So it was a good. It actually was a good turn from Hiru. Um, yeah. If you want to. Oh, he's managed to get through it uh, potentially. Oh wait, there's a body in the way. Don't mind. Is, is he just going to dodge? Mm. Is he going to dodge and score? No, no, really. Ooh. Wow. Oh, well, yeah. Holy shit. Hiru getting like pretty good chance out of all that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, one in nine. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, no. no. It was one in nine. What was the chances <laughs> of the of the dodging blitz? I'm not a. I'm not a. Uh, oh, I'm not oh, a human uh, computer like you. Oh, oh, so a question. Oh, uh, no, like. Hmm. I don't know, like fifteen percent or something. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Seventeen point seven. Mm. Oh, and that's with one reroll, so obviously higher than that with two. Uh -oh. oh, oh, damn. So yeah, I was doing one reroll. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I think that was the play. Like obviously his way as well. You like you you get your whole team to like if you go for the uphill, you get your whole team to react. And you like yeah, yeah, automatically yeah, yeah, remove yeah. the ghoul. Like the, the 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 payoff is much better than if he fails and he's still got you know he's still got all your players on the ground and he's still got a wolf right next to the ball and everything. Like the the fail wasn't game losing for Andy at that point, whereas getting his ghoul surf would have been uh -huh, substantially uh -huh. worse.
Yeah, I would I would never have made choice to you, honestly. Um, and I, yeah, thinking about it in this in this format, you know, maybe I would have made dwarves tier. And honestly, I think also this is probably a consideration for tabletop tournaments is just making dwarves tier one so that less people take them and less people have to play them and are miserable because they're just not. A oh fun yeah. Team. Oh yeah. You know, at the end, the, the point of a tournament is like kind of customer yeah. satisfaction, isn't it? Rather than like pure balance. Like pure balance has never yeah. been the issue with dwarves. They, you know, they've never been like you know had ridiculous win no. rates, and people have always <laughs> and will always complain about them. <laughs> no, well, there's a removal, but he's already two nil down and lost. <laughs> <laughs> is the problem now, isn't it? You know, like, uh -huh. he got a bit of luck, but it was too late. If this had been the first half, you know, and he'd got started off with a stun and a KO and that, this would have been, this would have been an interesting game, but, um, yeah, unfortunately, a 2 nil down, it's, it's just a bit, little bit over. But he's trying, right? He's trying to go for the 2-2. Like, he's moved these all forward yeah. like, like a lunatic. He's not giving up. No. But now the, the gals can come round and try and hit him, can't they? Oh. This is a lot of GFIs, isn't it? Flip me, reroll's mm. gone. Yeah. I'm not sure about that, but it, it pays no. off massively. It pays off massively. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, he got a though. Yeah, he couldn't catch it, yeah. Wow, that was that was a lot of GFIs there. That was Seabrawl's level of GFIs. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I might have you know, kept the rerolls just for the offense. Yeah, I think I would have probably gone for a more a more conservative approach there. Yeah. I mean, we'd still still score here, can't we? The dwarfs. Yeah, it's possible. It's not oh, likely, that's, oh, but it's nice. Possible. That's pretty good. Oh God. Yeah, that's worse now, isn't it? Probably not. Not by mm. much, I guess. So it doesn't matter. But in fact, it gives him a way out. So yeah. It's, it's well, it might be might better, be better. Yeah. Yeah, it might be better. Yeah. So he reroll the pick up. And try. Yeah. So at least he try. He try. Like he fucking he did great against me, honestly. In the, in, the, in our game, yeah. like I diced the absolute pants off him, and he really battled and like really hung in and like for as long as he could. And like made it as hard as he could for me. And like you know, he, you know, maybe as if I had been worse, he would have he would have got away with it. You know, got away with a half nil nil. Um, he uh, really did battle in the, in the first half versus me. And then second half, it was like he was totally on by the second half versus me. But first half was he was absolutely heroic in battling. And then you know now he did the right thing here, right? Even though it, you know it'd be easy if you were me to give up because you had a player removed against C Bros. <laughs> I pretty much gave up instantly against C Bros. But here even 2-0 down versus Andy, you know, he was still trying to get in there, so yeah, fair play. Fair play to Hiru. Yeah. Hello Torek. Um there has been a uh, player by mail kind of on like the PC years ago, right? They did do that, so I guess it could you could try and do something like that again. Oh, cheer fine, flip me. Ah, um, oh, then he's just ended the turn, yeah. Fair enough. End the flipping turn, man. It's over, isn't it? Like, so yeah, Andy gets a 3 0 win, which you know it could Ooh, it could big. come into play, yeah, it could come into play big. for the qualifying. And it's funny because of course, you know, like uh we just saw <laughs> we just saw Chunta concede and lose two nil. Um of course had Hiru conceded here. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe Andy would have been fuming as he, as he didn't get the uh, three 0 So you know who knows? Who knows how bad the uh, you know, if if it will matter at all the chunter can see. Uh, and again, like I wouldn't expect people to sit and suffer. Um, no, you know, if they're not feeling it. So 
But yeah, interesting. Interesting that Andy does get that three and the, you know, the touchdown difference could be critical. Maybe he's learned his lesson after the uh, NAF, <laughs> the NAF tournament where he's only scored six touchdowns in five games. Uh-huh. Uh, making up for it in this one. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Andy. Commiserations to Hiru. It's absolutely a, a horrendous start for Hiru. Um, not only in the racial matchups, but also in the dice. And uh, there you can see the the Group A table, Andy Davo at top of the league with two wins out of two. C. Rose and Sol with a win and a draw. Myself with a win and a loss. And nightmare starts for Chunter and Hiru. But things can only get better for them, I guess, right? So there you go. Uh, mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Any thoughts, Aliad? Um, no. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> and stay fantastic. <laughs>